Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production, offline. Power restored. All primary systems online. All right, so that was weird. It was all like, you ain't got no power. I guess because when the game loads, it doesn't... Re it loads everything before it loads the power. That's... I guess it makes sense. It has to load the building before it tells the building it has power, but... Kind of strange. Alright, well, we were doing something. We were go. Were we going... Yeah, we were going to Life Pod 13. Oh, yeah, we were going to read PDAs. Dang it, Cappy. You make all my fun go away! No, I'm just kidding. Uh... See, there's voice logs. Life pod 4. Okay, I did that. Alright, where are... Oh, good lord. Make sure to get all that to go away. Okay. So where's the PDA info? Data downloads? No. Survival package? No. Uh, alien arch. Intended purpose is unclear. Carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up purple. Oh, here we go. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. And I've also been to 17. How's his luck? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Interesting. Life Pod 4 Transmission Origin. Life Pod 6 Transmission Origin. Okay, Life Pod 4 is me. Okay, Degasi Survivors. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, Father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. 
Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside, in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters, for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. I'm Commander the Sir. only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Meda, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made us salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive, as comfortably as possible, until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Well, let's start heading for Life Pod 13 like we were. Do I have... Cured beeper? I don't have water. That's right, I drank all the water while I was on that phone call. Oh, yeah. Let me go get some more water. So like. Hey, Skid. So like indeed. 
Oh yeah, Primus. Primus resubbed for his 13 month in a row. Thanks, man. Shut up. He ate a peeper. It's his favorite. He loves eating peepers. Put my peeper in your mouth. Or what is it about Twitch that makes my tablet fall minutes behind the stream? Man, I don't know. I don't use mobile to do anything, man. Mobile's unreliable. The only benefit of mobile over a wired connection is convenience. If you need to poop it and you want to watch, that's the best way to do it. But other than that... Peeper. Peeper. No, come back. My peeper. Nope, not that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I don't think I can make bleach yet. Well, you know the... oh. Oh, yeah, disinfected water takes bleach, but I don't know how to make bleach. Maybe that's on one of the... I thought you said you had the recipe. I do have the recipe, but I may not have the... Oh, the equipment. Well, whatever, I can make bleach. <laughs> I can totally do it. Alright, well, this is for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, salt. I'm gonna cure my peeper. My peeper's cured. I don't know, Eternal. <laughs> Wish I had a better answer for you. I'm gonna need to build some more lockers soon, too. Because those two lockers, I, the two 
freestanding lockers I built, they're already full. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah. Integrating new PDA data. Thirty seconds. Happy smirk. Parts that I can scan nearby. It doesn't appear like there's much else over here. And a few additional things. Thirty seconds. Uh, I haven't built it yet. I think the next thing I want to build is, um... Yeah, you're right. How do I build that? That is the... Rebreather? A wiring kit and fiber mesh. Fiber mesh is obtained by... Creep vine samples. Oh, so yeah, I can do that. Yeah, might as well. How much fiber mesh do I need for the rebreather? Just one. Okay. What is a pathfinder tool? Deploys a holographic pathfinder. Oh, that's right. It's how to get out of caves.
Yeah, let's go get the rebreather so we can breathe air for a little longer. I can imagine Matt gets super in depth with his habitat building. Oh, yeah. Once I get comfortable to the point where, like, I've got a little mini sub and I've investigated a few things. No, I definitely plan to just sit for like two or three hours and just design a really big hab. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm, I'm very much a, uh, how far into the main story am I? Not very far, I don't think. I haven't really done much. I'm only like five hours, five, uh, six hours in. And I'm, I'm much more of an explorer than I am a, uh, like, burn through the main story, so probably less far than you think I would probably be. Oh, here's Creepvine. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm just going right by, even though I need this. All right, let's get four pieces just so I can have some extra. How much inventory does that take? A lot. Okay. Hey Tessa, how are you? I need to see... have I... I haven't gotten everything I need to make the... the water moth yet, I don't think. I think I'm still missing blueprints, yeah. I'm gonna go over to the thing and see what I'm at, but... Because it's, it's like five feet from my house. Can't wait until I get a weapon that can actually hurt fish better than my knife. So this thing don't count. This thing is weird. There it is. Need like an underwater machine gun. <laughs> it shoots, uh, it, sh it shoots stalker teeth or whatever. Yeah, ingredients unknown. I don't have the stuff ne necessary for this. I need to get more blueprints. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, so... Alright, so that's equipment. I need a wiring kit. How do I make that again? Uh, silver. Do I have silver? I have one. So I need more silver. Let's, let's eat one of my peepers. I eat my peeper! Alright. Radio wants to tell me something. That's okay. We're gonna go get silver. I'll be back. Shut up. You can't catch me now that I've got this. LOL. Alright, here we go. I don't need any more eggs. I got like a dozen eggs. Oh, that's this thing. Oh, okay. I've been here. I always need quartz. But let's... Hey, silver! Let's pick up some quartz while I'm here. <laughs> Shut 
Shut up, Mindy. Okay. Let's go back. Wish your friends not food. That peeper was delicious. Yum, yum, yum. So let's grab the silver and I'll put the gold away. Nope. Uh, this. Oh, I need the wiring kit first. Duh. Rebreather. There it is. Nice. Alright, so now. Because that's the rad helmet. All right, so with a rebreather, conserves oxygen when diving deeper. Oh, yeah, all right, <laughs> whatever. That makes sense. I, I should really read. Okay. Well, you know. Damn it! Okay. Uh, nope, not you. I want you. What the hell happened? One, three. Uh. Okay. Let's see on the diagonals. How's this? That overlaps the midline a little, just a touch. Okay. So let's overlap that midline just a touch. Boop. It's very weird when it does that. Okay. I need titanium again. I have plenty of titanium. I have Cappy for reading? That's true. <laughs> I hate how the gun does that. The, the the building gun does that weird thing. Oh, do you not fit? Hmm. Oh, you're too close. Okay. Immediate slid over just a bit. Be like right there would work. It's being weird. Okay. Oh, come on. Ah, perfect. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Now, put that in there. Here we're gonna put you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pick all this up. We're gonna move plant-based stuff over here. Okay. 
Okay, you can go there. I'll put the fiber mesh away. I don't need that right now. We'll carry a couple of beacons, some water, first aid, food. Where's my nutrition block? There it is. Is that a dead battery? It is. Oh, here's all my extra titanium. I guess I can move that out now. Alright, let's pick up that. And quartz is in the other one. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Gotta get to the Sunbeam landing site. In 40 minutes. That's only like one kilometer away. That's not very far. Okay. That was... that's weird. I mean, I don't want to leave yet. I swear to God, if that's the end of the game, I'm gonna be so pissed. Alright, um... I'm gonna go tell the Aurora to fuck off. I'm not done exploring the oceans. Wow, there's so many bladderfish. Come here. I'm gonna fill up my inventory with all you guys. You guys are so hard to find sometimes. If I can get a buttload of you at once, I'm totally gonna do it. It's 300 meters down. I cannot swim to that. Pretty sure I need the sea moth. What are these explosions? I guess the ship's blowing up. Rip ship. Alright. Welcome aboard, Captain. The hunger thirst thing bothering you as much as it was at the beginning? I mean, it's an annoyance, but I wouldn't say it's bothering me. It's not like it's difficult to deal with. Well, screw it, we'll start heading that way. Maybe there's cool shit out there.
Dude, I'm gonna laugh my ass off if this thing comes in to help us and it just crashes. That would be. Well, it's just like. We pillage it? Uh, yeah, that would be my response too. I'd be like, oh no, now I get to scan all their shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they have a sea moth on board. Dude, my uh my water jet, my turbo, my water my zoom zoom is running low on battery power. I forgot what this thing is called, water slick or something. Radio's making noise again. What the shit? New island to explore. Is it new? It the last island I was at did not have alien stuff poking out of it. Right. It was there was alien Detecting stuff underneath. Energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Do I have a battery? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a battery. Right there. I'm also keeping a dead battery. I'm keeping my dead batteries just in case I get a battery recharger later. That'll be convenient. What the fuck are you? Nope, wrong item. Oh, I swear, is this a fucking crab again? Where are you, you little shit? There you are. Die in a fire. I hate your guts. Ooh. Stop it. Fuck that little dude. Reminds me of Dead Space, man. Fuck you, little baby. I wouldn't say telling me the game gets easier later is a spoiler, but telling me how it gets easier would be, yeah. But I mean, that's like saying as you level up in a game you get stronger. I'm like, well, yeah. I don't expect the game to stay difficult the whole day, whole time. Get out of here, you fucking crabs. Jesus Christ. I hate your stupid face. You guys are useless. <coughs> Where'd you go? Yeah, you better run. Alright. Eighty-six meters away, and I have half an hour to get there. We're fine. Fuck it. We're not going underwater. Huh? No, I'd rather I'd rather play on the version I'm playing on. <laughs> I don't want it to continually stay difficult. I'd like me to, as I love, as I progress through the unlocks in the game, for it to slowly start reducing difficulty. That would be convenient. I don't want it to get like a walk in the park, but. Alright, we're here. Thought I saw a dot in the sky. I was all like, sick. Alright, what the hell is this?
Hello? Ooh. Another purple tag. That didn't have a letter U on it, did it? Oh, it did. Okay. Interesting snake arms. You died to a fart, Mindy? That's adorable. Yeah, I'm very, um... I'm very hyper-aware of my oxygen levels. As soon as the thing says, you need air, I'm like, bail! Like, the stuff I'm dealing with, it's staying underwater. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I can come back. Died mostly to greed. Yeah, I could see that. I think I may have to come at this thing from underwater. I'm still infected. Let's just take a piece of this, right? Let's let's look at this. Hi. Okay. Never mind. Thirty seconds. have this 75 food thing and I'm just like fuck it <laughs> like no don't drop that what the shit passing 100 meters oxygen efficiency decreased
Oh, fuck it, make noise. Their keys. Okay. Wait, can I scan that thing? Force field controls. Well, I want to look first. I don't want to just shove my... Because if it eats my key, I don't want to... What the shit? Don't glow at me. No way to obviously remove the rifle. Can I has it? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, maybe if you drop the force fields. Maybe if I drop Catholic. the force field, yeah. There's fucking upstairs. Showcase your bitch. Shit. Fuck. Oh my god. God damn it, Skid. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Skid with the 200 bits says, Jump scare! <laughs> son of a bitch, new. I hate your face. Thank you for the bits, man. Much appreciated. There's another alien arch. Okay, we're good. Hey, Shore Football, what's up, dude? Tell me when I have 15 minutes. That point, just run and get the force fill down so you can grab the rifle. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High capacity alien energy source. Oh, thank you. Oh, remember when we talked about lithium ion batteries? Mm, yes. Now I have an extra purple tablet. You have one at home too. Yeah, I have one at the house too. Yeah. But now you shouldn't be so afraid of. Yeah, now it. now I'm definitely not as not as nervous about putting a tablet in that in that door. What the hell is this? Oh shit! Fuck. Doomsday device. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Thank the gods. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway.
The control room sounds good. Let's get in here and fucking push buttons. <laughs> Control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Okay. I'm infected. I know that. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Interesting. So I'm assuming... I'm assuming that's like the whole thing right now is I need to cure myself so I can come back here and turn this off. Because it didn't seem- it didn't seem angry that I was trying to turn it off. It just seemed angry that, uh, that I'm infected. Okay, the gun is still op closed. Open. <laughs> Alright, let's go put the key over here. Let's go put another- this, this is why I can manufacture tablets. I was wondering why the game has an option to manufacture alien tablets. So note to self, always bring an alien tablet. Oh. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Attempting translation. Likely grown artificially. Five kilotons of TNT? Jesus Christ. My time limit's rapidly approaching. A 
analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Unknown language, attempting translation. Unable to translate, okay. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. I don't remember seeing this entrance the first time I came in here. You had the force fields down. Yeah. So it might have been close. It might have been all the force fields. At least now you can get back in much easier. Like if the ship crashes and you can just come back in and explore and you can do that for a while. Yeah, I think I've explored all of it though now. All of it I can do at the moment. So the island to explore. Yeah, there's still definitely the island. Can I get that birdie? Turd. I had a self-imposed time limit so I could make sure I could leave the building in order to get back here in time. Are there crabs here? Yeah. Let's explore this a little bit more. So I know this exit is right onto the beach. Huh? So I don't understand the alien language. Maybe I maybe I need to translate the alien language as well. I'm assuming these markings are aesthetic. I don't think they would be functional if they're they're fucking they're everywhere. Does this elevator go down, or is it just an up elevator? Uh. Circuits built into the wall? Yeah, that's very viable. So I'm guessing these are probably like, my assumption at this point is these cubes are like energy sources or something. Yeah, there's the door. 